Hello everybody and welcome back to another diecast review. Finally getting back into the groove and stuff. Uh getting to one of my personal favorite teams from 2019 and my favorite favorite driver of all time. Jimmy Johnson's 2019 Darlington throwback. So it's gonna be a fun review. Uh throw back to his trophy truck days but without further ado let's get this car out of the box okay so here's the car out of the box uh let's get it off the stand and the purple on this side looks darker than the purple on this side don't know why um, And we should start the review. Uh, let's take a look at the front first. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any issues. Uh, yeah, the front grill's a little skewed. The headlight on this side is higher up. But nah. So I had to like look hard to pick that out. So I mean, not too bad. Our contingencies, these throwback contingencies, Moog, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. Uh, oh, that is cool. That is cool. This is Jimmy John. Uh, huh. It's, that is cool. I didn't know they had that. Sorry, you can hear a. Uh, Pause on the concrete. My dog's down here with me. There are two of them. With NASCAR race car Jimmy Johnson. I didn't know they had that name right there. That's cool. I got a good year right there. It feels like there's a paint chip or something on it. I'm not going to mess with anything further. Exalta's. Exalta logo screwed up. Uh, Mechanics Wear 3M. I really like this design on the side, like the lightning bolt. Like, I want to go make this car in uh, Forza Motorsport 7. On, it'd be on the SS, but whatever. Yeah, I like this. I like this design. Definitely. 10 out of 10. Uh, the top, or the deck lid, just says Ally. I mean, I got a uh, Valvoline, you got all the contingencies of Valvoline, Siemens Freightliner, and the Exalta logo, which is screwed up. Screwed up on this, I mean, it... there's errors on this car, but most of them are small. Wait, that better not be a paint chip. Bruh. Oh my god, Lionel. I know. God, I hope Far Out Toys, who they just got like a deal with NASCAR or something to make diecast. I hope they can actually. Uh, their Hot Wheels diecast they make now aren't very good quality, but they're not detailed. I hope they can do something good. Okay, but uh, Ally do it right. Camaro, Valvoline, uh, ZL1, and 48. Uh. This 48 on the roof is really dark. The... That's weird. Is it like that in the real car? I don't think it is. Why, Why is it like that? I didn't realize that until, like, now. Bruh. Okay, bro moment. Uh, that, that nice neon orange, though. I like that. I like the neon orange. Well... Virtually the same thing on this side, you know, uh, that Jimmy Johnson right here, though, I, I like that, that is cool, uh, now, the old NASCAR race car, though, I forgot to mention that, Exalta Freightliner and Siemens, uh, Valvoline, Yeah, good diecast. Uh, let's look at the top more. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm not sure this is supposed to be a different pur purple. Probably not. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, roof, I'm stupid. 
Uh, 48, yeah, it's definitely a different purple. I don't know why it's like that. Hold on. Wait, I'm gonna... This is gonna cut. Yeah, it's not, um... Okay, so... Uh, it's not the lighting, like, camera stuff. Cameras are weird with colors. It's not. They're genuinely two different purples. Uh, the 48 Ally and Johnson on the name rail. They're bringing back the front window banners, which is nice. Uh, finally. And then there's the deck lid. Uh, okay, so that's the review. Uh, good car. I would I would buy this, especially if you're a Jimmy Johnson fan like me. This is a must-get. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Once again, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day night whenever you're watching this, and bye!